ginger ale, Bruce Cost ginger ale from Brooklyn, New York, yo. Where that at? Where that at? All right. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make this video because I was reading an article on NationalGeographic.com, <laughs> and uh, the article is about the Big Bang Theory. So I thought it was interesting and I wanted to uh, share some of my thoughts about this article. So first let me start off by reading to you some of the little points I thought were interesting. It says, billions of years ago a massive blast allowed all the universe's known matter and energy, even space and time themselves, to spring from some ancient and unknown type of energy. What was that energy? It was God. The Big Bang Theory leaves several major questions unanswered. One is the original cause of the Big Bang itself. So what they're saying is they know there was a beginning point where everything started and they know that that was an ancient, unknown, what they describe as unknown type of energy that triggered this beginning of the universe where everything was just um, created, even time itself and space. So that to me is very interesting. It is also interesting that they said they don't even know, they don't really have any solid proof or um, answer for what is the cause of the Big Bang. It's like they know what happened, they just don't know how. They know that Obviously, there was a starting point, so that's something we all know. So, now, I want to talk about the book of Genesis, because that is where their missing pieces of the puzzle are filled here in the Bible. Let's look at that. Book of Genesis right there. And it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So this is talking about a beginning as well. The Bible in the very first, very first sentence says, in the beginning. So it's letting us know there was also a beginning. A beginning of what? A beginning, a beginning of the heavens and the earth. It says God created it. So in that article in the National Geographic when they're saying it's an unknown energy, this in the Bible is saying, what is that energy? It was God. See, God is a spirit, so he is the very source of all energy. God is everywhere. Also, God is outside of time, so that means he's above time, so he created time. Even um, in that article, it said that there was a beginning point for time. So that's why he's God, because he is the originator. They're trying to find out what is the origin. We know there was a blast, but what made it? What caused it? The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the heavens is also... Um, the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, everything, the entire universe. So also it says in the, in the book of Genesis here, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. So they're seeing a blast. These scientists, when they're researching, they're saying, wow, there was a, a blast that happened. Now this is also saying there was a blast of light. Because God just merely spoke. He spoke light into existence. He said, let there be light. And there was light. So I just thought that was interesting that the article in the National Geographic was pretty much in line with the book of Genesis, not contradicting one another. And, uh, you know, we are confined to time right now. We have clocks, calendars. We have to stay on schedules. Us as human beings, we only have, have um, a limited amount of days that we're on this earth. But God is eternal. He's outside of time. So he just keeps going, going, going. So he decided that he was going to create time. He was going to create earth. He was going to create humans. And that in itself is a whole other topic. But I just thought it was interesting. And I just want to share my thoughts on that with you today. So hopefully it gave uh, somebody something to think about or whatever. You know, sometimes people are still questioning, how did we get here? And I just wanted to share with you what the Bible says and also um, talk a little bit about what the Big Bang Theory was saying. Only the Big Bang Theory was leaving out a little bit of information that they didn't understand. And um, they're calling it an energy. They don't know what that energy was. That energy is God. Peace.